Every marriage is different. It is not possible to redefine marriage. Yeah, yeah. A free vote for a fair society. This is a change that deserves our respect and our support today. It is impossible to guarantee that religious freedom will not be compromised. While the Prime Minister's vow to open up marriage will inevitably unite some same-sex couples, it's had the opposite effect on his party. We have to get away from the idea that every single thing in life can be forced through the merciless prism of equality. Let there be order, order. It was always going to be contentious. In the end, the bill was passed, but not without half of all Conservative MPs trying to stop it. So the eyes have it! The eyes have it! If it becomes law, the bill will allow same-sex couples to get married at places of worship. But the government says religious groups won't be forced into marrying anyone. Let there be love. It was just lovely to do it in a building that's so grand like this. Kieran and Warren know more than most what it could be like. They were the first gay couple to hold their civil partnership ceremony in a church. They didn't call it a wedding, but it did give them similar legal protections to being married. You've had the... the civil ceremony why would it be important to you to have the marriage we would probably def think spiritually that we already are married in many ways we, we want to we'd like to see that be true also legally i think it's perfectly reasonable to want to express your commitment to another person whether they're of the same or a different gender i think the, the principle is the same it's about love and commitment and trust but some are concerned about the level of protection on religious freedom and feel they've been railroaded. They've allowed this rising attitude of perceiving anyone who holds a reasonable traditional view as a bigot. So we've polarised now. You're either progressive and thinking forward or you're a bigot. It really is a very negative piece of legislation that's being pushed onto us. The debate about same-sex marriage and equality for gay people will undoubtedly continue regardless of the outcome of this vote. But it's also reignited the whole issue of the value of families in modern-day Britain. Manifesto pledges to give tax breaks for married couples still haven't materialised. Yet the plan for same-sex marriages, for which there's arguably no mandate, is now a step closer. A step which some say will further erode traditional family ideals. The Church of England and the Catholic Church remain opposed to the proposals. How does it make you feel when you're both churchgoers and yet there are elements of the church who say that there's no place for same-sex couples within the organisation of the church? Yeah, it, it can be quite um, offensive and if I'm being kind I would say that maybe some of those leaders haven't really understood what it's like you know um, for um, a, a, a gay person and that if they actually talked to more gay people and listened to what they had to say then they might be more at least sensitive and respectful in in what they say let there be love. supporters say the legislation was designed to stop prejudice and create a first system for all but critics fear it's just blurred the picture on marriage and the true equality remains elusive.